Well, a family returns home to settle their father's estate. What could go wrong? Plenty, as seen in the acclaimed play, appropriate as a shocking past is brought to the forefront as the family grapples with the so-called legacies of hatred buried in their backyard. And along for the ride is Succession standout Natalie Gold, who's with me now. Welcome, Natalie. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I can't even believe it's 2024. I know, me but this show is getting rave reviews. I mean, you you join this hot off Succession. Yeah. I feel like you just want the family drama. Are you? Is this something you're drawn <laughs> to? Is just family drama. I mean, hey, yes, absolutely. <laughs> it creates for interesting conversation. It, it creates for interesting conversation, but no, really what I'm drawn to is amazing writing, yeah. um, honestly, and Brandon Jacobs Jenkins is one of our greatest uh, living American playwrights. I think one of our greatest playwrights ever, actually, yeah. hands down, and um, if there's amazing writing and I get the opportunity, opportunity and the yeah. luck to be a part of it, I am I am there. Yeah, so this this follows the Lafayette family going home to settle their father's estate. Yes. So tell us about Rachel, who you play, and how she kind of fits into this family dynamic. Yeah, so Rachel, I, I am again getting into a dysfunctional family by way of marriage. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, but, you know, very different character, Rachel. But she, uh, I am married to uh, the wonderful Corey Stoll, who uh -huh. plays my husband in the play. And he is the middle brother, the oldest brother, or oldest sister, Sarah Paulson, youngest brother, Michael Esper. And then we have the great Al Fanning and Graham Campbell and Such Alyssa an Marvin. Cast. It's an incredible cast. Yeah, yeah and, and it, it deals with racism, family drama, shocking twists. Yes. What was your first reaction when you read the script and saw how it all kind of played out? Oh, God. Well, I had seen a lot of Brandon's shows and was such a huge fan. And then Kind of got the feeling that you it, knew what to expect. I, I knew his writing is impeccable. And then reading this, I just kept... Um, couldn't wait to turn the page and see what happens next. But my initial reaction with Brandon is because these characters are all so flawed, but he has such beautiful empathy for yeah. all of his characters. And they all have their moments. They're, they're imperfect people, as we all are, yeah, right. some more than others. Um, but they also have such, he has such empathy for them. And so you feel for their pain. Yeah. And there's a lot of humor in it as yeah, well. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a roller coaster like, of emotions. Yes. But So let's talk about this cast. Because yes. you just mentioned who they all are. Yes. It's an amazing cast. Uh, incredible. And, and to put it nicely, everyone is, I mean, awful towards each other. Sure. I mean, <laughs> literally shouting yes. on stage. That has to take a lot. Like, I know you're not singing in this, but is there like a vocal warm up? Yes, yes. Oh, gosh, yes. We have um, an amazing vocal coach, Kate Wilson. She is the best of the best. So she has led us through warm ups all through the rehearsal process and through previews, and now we are all doing them together. Yeah, yeah. a lot of steaming backstage. Yeah. A lot of, yeah, lots of funny noises. <laughs> then maybe hugs later. Like, yeah. sorry I said that to you. But um, exactly. I know Sarah Paulson said that she um, is channeling one of the Real Housewives yes. <laughs> for the yes. character, which is not the first time that I've heard that, actually, from mm. an actor. I mean, is that like a... An, an, an actor's community like resource? I mean, not that I've heard of necessarily, <laughs> but it makes perfect sense in a way, yes. Have you ever channeled kind of an unexpected source? Yes, but not not necessarily people that people would know. I kind of steal from all you know, my poor family and yeah. friends. I steal from all of them. You're like, no, that wasn't you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> that's nothing that's to do with you. Yeah. Um, so I just have to ask you this one question. We mentioned sure. uh, Succession. Who would you rather spend the holidays with, the Roys or the Lafayette? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, okay, I just did spend the holidays with the Lafayettes because we had eight shows last <laughs> oh week. Oh, my God. Um, wow, the Roys or the Lafayettes. Um, yeah, you know, I think you and I said, well, let's put them together let's and see how it goes out. Put them in a, in a room together. I'll go a to a spa. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, you can catch Appropriate playing now through March 3rd at the Hayes Theater. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.